Hello, this is a third section of writing high performance Java applications in Java 9. And in this section, we'll be looking how to monitor Java 9 application. So it, this section is Java 9 applications monitoring. And in this section, we will be looking at the topic how to detect memory leaks in Java application. And we will be using a JVisual VM tool to achieve that. We'll be also examining CPU and resources usages of the Java application. And we'll be using Java Flight Recorder tool to achieve that. At the end of this section, there will be a summary of writing high performance Java applications in Java 9. And this is a first video of our third section. And this is a detecting memory leaks using JVisual VM tool. In this video, we'll be looking at the code of the application with a potential memory leak. We will be writing stress tests to simulate real traffic for that application. We'll be starting and looking at the JVisual VM tool and we'll be using JVisual VM to detect memory leaks. So let's say that we have a simple REST application and we have one controller. This is a greeting controller. That controller is on the URL greeting mapping and it takes one HTTP request param. It's a name param and it returns greeting with counter of views and proper greeting message. But also that is important to note, it adds every request to the list of requests. And as we can guess, this may yield some memory leak because it will be added indefinitely. So we'll be adding each request param name and it will grow and grow and we will be testing that assumption and looking at that memory consumption using JVisual VM tool. So let's start our application firstly. Yes, and this is verification that it works. So it works. We have an ID returned and content, but that this is not important for that cat test. And let's write a simple main method that will send 1 million requests for that endpoint. So we are creating REST template, Spring REST template. And for 1 million element, for each element, we sleep for a moment to see how that behave, simulate more real world use case. And after a while, you are sending a get request on the greeting endpoint with some random parameter. This will be a string. We will start our test, but first let's start the JVisual VM tool. We can access JVisual VM from the bin directory in our JDK, and we can start it using JVisual VM command. Yes, we started it, and we have our application. This is a hello application. We can open that, and we see some monitoring on that application. This is important. We see the heap that is used, and max heap is. We can see that 100 megabyte of heap is used and this is a limit of heap. So there is a lot of free space. Also meta space here for classes and statics. Threads and sampler is a very useful property. It shows us how many objects are on the specific type is allocated on the heap. Also, we can see the CPU. But so let's start our stress test. So we will start our main here and this will generate 1 million of requests. So we see that something is going on here and let's look at the monitoring. Yes, yeah, we see immediately that heap is growing. We can see from 100 megabytes, it starts really growing and growing. And to find out what kind of objects is allocated, how many objects, we can use that sampler. And we see that array of charts is allocated all the time. We see that this error of instances of char array. So this could be disturbing a little bit. Also string instances of string. We see that it grows constantly. And in our test, it will grow to 1 million of elements and it will never be reclaimed by the garbage collection process because we are, let's look at the code. It will be never reclaimed because you are only adding and not purging that at all. So it will grow indefinitely. Yeah, it's 300,000 around. Also, char array is a lot of it, of that objects. We can see which thread allocate how many memory. But 
to this point we can see that we find out some kind of memory leak and this is a string a lot of string objects is allocated on the heap and this is correct because we are allocating those strings strings here so using j visual vm we find out that string is allocated too much and this is a memory leak we confirmed our assumptions and this is very important even if we have an assumption that this is a memory leak we need to check it firstly before changing something in code to find out that this is really a memory leak that's why we have that, that monitoring embedded into jdk 